If you want to learn how to start a blog the right way, then you need to pay attention. I've made over a million dollars and won eight prestigious blogging awards in the past few years. And not only that, but I've helped thousands of people just like you achieve their blogging dreams. So today I'm going to show you how to avoid all of the most common mistakes so you can start a blog the right way in just five simple steps. Now, if you don't know what to blog about yet, don't worry, because I'm going to be sharing an awesome five minute exercise to help you choose a topic and name for your blog in a moment. But first, let's jump straight into step one, which is choosing your blogging platform. To make a long story short, you should be using WordPress. Why? Well, because it's super easy to use and there's thousands of free themes and plugins available to make your blog look and feel how you want. All you need is a domain name, hosting, and you're good to go. Now, one of the biggest mistakes I see new bloggers make is when they're just getting started, they choose to use a free blogging platform like uh, Blogspot or Tumblr. But if you do this, you're gonna seriously limit your potential success as a blogger. Because of all of the major free blogging platforms like Blogspot, Medium, or Tumblr, they all suffer from the same serious flaws. First, you have zero control over your blog, and there's many horror stories all over the web of people getting their blog shut down and deleted without warning. Search around Google, you'll find them. Not only that, but they're very limited when it comes to customization. Whereas WordPress has thousands of free themes and plugins to choose from with no limits on how many images or videos you can upload or how many people visit your blog. Plus, who wants an ugly domain name like yourblog.blogspot.com rather than a cool domain name like myawesomeblog.com? And last but not least, no one will take you seriously because if you use a free platform, it makes you look like an inexperienced beginner. And I didn't make a million dollars with my blog by looking like an inexperienced beginner, even though I was. So, if you are serious about starting a blog, then do things the right way the first time. Plus, it only costs a handful of dollars to do it the right way, so why take shortcuts? So, that brings us onto the most important part of the process, and that is choosing a topic and domain name for your blog. Now, if you don't know what a domain name is, well, it's the address of your blog. For example, the domain name of this blog is just my name, matthewwoodward.co.uk. But, before you choose a domain name, you need to choose a topic for your blog. And if you're not sure what to blog about, well, here's a quick exercise that will help you out. All you need to do is write three things that you're good at, three things that you're interested in or enjoy, and a list of three things that you want to learn about. In my case, I'm good at cooking, nutrition, managing money, and finding deals. But I really enjoy languages, free diving, and traveling, but wish I had more time to learn about meditation, 3D printers, and fitness trackers. That quick five minute exercise will give you more than enough ideas for topics for your blog. And once you have a topic for your blog, you need to choose a good domain name. If you're going to blog about a specific topic, which I highly recommend you do, then you should try and incorporate that into the domain name. Or you could just use your name like I did with my blog that focuses on blogging and digital marketing. Don't worry about how you're gonna set it all up yet. I'm gonna show you how to register the domain and set up WordPress in a moment. For now, just pick a topic and then brainstorm domain ideas that are easy to remember, easy to say and spell, don't include any spaces, hyphens, numbers, or special characters. But if you're really stuck for an idea, then just use your name as a domain name like I did, because it really makes people take you seriously. Once you have some domain name ideas, you'll be glad to know the hardest part of setting up your blog is over. Now, we just need to get it online, make it look awesome, and write your first post. And I'm gonna show you how to do all of that with just a few clicks of the mouse next. To do that, we are going to use iPage. The reason that I love iPage, it's super cheap, just $2 a month. It includes a free domain name, so people will take you seriously, as well as $100 in Google AdWords credit, $100 in Bing Ads credit, and that will really help you when you're launching your blog. You also get free email addresses, unlimited domains, but most importantly, 24 hours a day, seven days a week support. If you have any problems or any questions, you can just reach out and you know that somebody's got your back and you get all of that for just $2 a month. So 
Starting your blog with iPage is easy. Just click on Get Started Now and it's going to ask you to register a new domain. I'm going to register www.iamwoodward.com. Click on Check Availability and it's going to make sure that domain is available for us to register. Remember, if you get stuck, you can call their phone number here and they have a full 30-day money-back guarantee. As you can see, the domain was available for me, so now I just need to enter my payment details into here, which I will do quickly. Once you have done that, you want to scroll down and review the purchase information. Now, there are some things here that are enabled that you don't need. Um, for example, domain privacy, you can choose to have or not. You can untick that to save $10 a year, just like this and then you can also get rid of the website security and you won't need that and the site backup i'm going to show you how to do these things for free now it is worth noting if you disable the domain privacy people will be able to see your name and address if they look up the information on the domain if you want that to be public record you need don't worry about it, but if you want it to be private, you need to tick this box here. Otherwise, once you are ready to go, and I will just tick this for uh, demonstration purposes, you can click on checkout. Once you have gone through the payment information, you will see this thank you screen, and then you need to check your email. Once the email comes through like this, you just need to click on this link and go ahead and set a password and some security information, which I'm gonna do quickly right now. And once that's done, you can click on save and continue. That will bring you into the control panel and all you need to do is click on the WordPress logo and then here you can choose your domain for installation. You can have it with the www dot or not. It really doesn't matter. You can take your pick. I'm gonna go with the www dot and click next. That's then going to copy some files over and in a moment it's going to ask us to provide some uh, additional details. So we'll just wait for that. Next, we need to add a site name or title. So I am just going to put I am Matthew Woodward as a quick title there. You can see it's already created the email address and admin password automatically for us. And then we just need to click next. As you can see, WordPress is installing right now. It's going to let us know when it's ready and down here they're going to upsell us some themes but don't worry we don't need to buy any of these I'm going to show you how to customize your blog with a premium theme without having to spend a penny in just a moment now the installation is complete you want to click this link up here and at this point it's going to show us all of our login credentials it's a good idea for you to take note and copy these uh, into a notepad file or somewhere uh, safe because you're going to need them shortly so i'm going to do that now you can log in to your new blog just click on your domain name here and it's going to take you to a login page and once we log in this is going to take you to the admin area of your blog now iPage comes with a, uh, a little site builder here that helps you out if you need some help. You can click I don't need help um, or you can click through and um, go through their suggestions. Um, we're actually going to go with that we don't need any help and I'm going to go straight here and go to appearance and themes. Now you can see here there are um, some themes already pre-installed here but if you want to um, add more themes it's easy to do you just need to click up here wordpress.org themes and that will allow you to browse a huge there's literally thousands of themes for you to choose from here and here are just some examples of them that you can see now I've got some general rules that you should apply when choosing a WordPress theme you want something that is simple and clutter free. The simpler it is to read and navigate your site, the better. Your site should be mobile responsive. That means you need to check it looks great on a mobile phone or tablet as well. It should load quickly and be optimized for speed. You'll quickly know that when you change a theme, if it loads slowly or not. 
it should be SEO ready, but if not, don't worry, we can um, actually take care of that with a plugin. And ideally, we want it to be easy to customize, change the colors and logos, and you usually find that tucked away in the theme options. And last but not least, um, you want to have some kinds of built-in short codes. Now, what this means is that you can style your blog posts a little bit and give them uh, a little bit of pop. Now, if you've got a little bit of money to spend, you can actually use the exact theme that I use on my blog. Um, actually, this theme was built for me by the My Theme Shop team because I needed a blog uh, theme that did all of those things I've just said and um, I wanted it to, uh, well this, this was designed based off my years of experience as a blogger and what's worked for me. So if you want a shortcut to a professional theme you can buy this, there will be a link for it underneath the video but I also want to stress you don't need to buy a theme. You can do just as well with one of the free premium themes here and just scroll through and find something that you like. Just to give you an idea, this is what the default theme looked like. Then I just changed it quickly for demonstration purposes to make this into a much uh, simpler, cleaner theme. And then, um, well, you just browse through here. You can preview themes as you want just to get a, a, an idea of how they're going to look without actually having to install them. So we can see how this theme looks here and it's very easy to edit. You'll see this looks completely different again and here we can click to edit anywhere that we want and there's lots of other options here and you can see that's quite cool for a free theme. So I want you to just go through, find a free theme and then customize it. If you come to appearance and customize it, you can go through those options and really make it your own. So now comes the fun part, writing and publishing your first blog post. Now it might seem scary, but I'm going to guide you through the process. All you need to do is come from posts, add new, and you're going to see a screen like this. And I'm going to explain exactly what you're seeing here. First is the title area. This is where they write the title of your blog post. Add media is where you upload photos, GIFs, videos, and that kind of thing. Content area here, this is where you write your blog post content. Here are your publishing controls. It's either a draft where only you can see it or you can publish it so the whole world can see it. And then down here you have different categories and tags and an area to set your featured image. So uh, most people um, can just use categories. I don't really use tags too much. And I'm just going to fill this out quickly to give you an example of what your first blog post could look like. So here you can see my first post with the post title set here, the post body, and I went and set a category of personal down here. Now you can choose to preview it to get a look at how it will look without actually publishing it. And you can see right here, this is my post. And you can just click publish to put that post live. And voila, you've just set up your WordPress blog, selected a topic, uh, set up a domain and published your very first blog post. So now you know how to start a blog the right way, I'm sure you have a bunch of questions. But before I answer them, I want you to sign up to my 100% free email course that will teach you how to build a successful blog in seven days. You'll learn the eight types of blog posts that always drive traffic, three simple strategies to get your first 1,000 visitors and the best ways to monetize your new blog. All you have to do is open the email each day and complete the 15 to 30 minute task I assign you step by step. You can find the link to sign up for the free course underneath the video and if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comments or head over to my dedicated blogging FAQ section which covers all of the most common questions new bloggers have. This thing is super detailed and you'll find that underneath this video as well. I've helped thousands of people just like you build successful blogs and I would love for you to become my next success story. So start your blog today.